an eyesore and a safety concern. That's what Indianapolis city leaders think about graffiti. The new graffiti abatement program is in effect right now, and it's meant to clean up neighborhoods plagued with tagging. Our reporter Ebony Monet is live downtown now with what neighbors are saying tonight. Ebony. Beth, right now in Indianapolis, property owners of buildings like this one here behind me covered in graffiti could actually be fined if they don't remove the graffiti within 30 days of notification. But the city is offering help. It's hard to find a patch of Garfield Park Place apartments clean of graffiti. I don't like it. I don't like my kids to see that. But Tanya says she can't help but to see the vacant apartment complex sitting in the middle of the block on her south side Indianapolis neighborhood. Well, as you can see, it's boarded up. There's broken windows everywhere. We were sitting outside um, a couple weeks ago and there were some kids over that was uh, breaking one of the windows in the middle. This is the graffiti left after the Department of Public Works spent three hours cleaning Saturday morning. DPW is partnering with the Department of Public Safety using a graffiti abatement unit to remove spray paint. Well, I think that'd be fantastic if they could do something like that because, you know, that, uh, you know, we feel better about our neighborhood. This cleanup comes weeks after the city's new ordinance to hold property owners responsible for graffiti removal took effect. City County Councilor Jeff Miller says after acquiring this once abandoned building, the new owner welcomes the help. I would rather them tear the buildings down and build like a little neighborhood here like build some houses. DPS leaders say gangs use some of these tags to send messages and leaving them up victimizes the entire neighborhood. City leaders tell us that so far 70 property owners have received notification to remove the graffiti from their buildings or face fines. But like we mentioned, there is help out there. In fact, Keep Indy Beautiful has a program going. It's partnered with Lowe's. It's actually giving people free paint to remove graffiti. For more information about that program, log on to the Indy Reporting live downtown, Ebony Monet, RTV6.